Hello students, good afternoon all of you. So today we are going to discuss about very very important topic that is so diffraction. So now this is the part 7 or part 6 I have given. So once again you have to see so part 1 to part 6 again. Right. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about part 7. Before that I will revise one more time Young's double slit experiment. Young's double slit experiment only just what is the condition for bright, what is the condition for dark. These concepts I will give you as well as so intensity and path difference graph I will give you. After that I will enter into diffraction. Right. Okay. So now Young's double slit experiment. Young's double slit experiment. So for bright fringes purpose, for bright fringes purpose, you know condition for what is that constructive interference constructive interference condition is delta x is equal to n into lambda in the mathematical expression we are given with the help of del, uh, del what is that Young's double slit experiment uh, mathematical expression in the delta x is equal to y d by d yes or no this is equation number one this is equation number two so from 1 and 2 what I have given yd by d is equal to n into lambda n into lambda so now I want to y I want to y so previous class previous lecture I have given there x d by d no problem that one also correct man but right now I took there y only why because y I took there so this is the y axis like that only this is the y axis this is the central bright so first dark <laughs> Like that I have given right is the y axis so that I took their y only so no confusion so here x d by d also correct and y d by d also correct no no problem so no more confusion right so y d by d is equal to n into lambda from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 I have given this one so therefore y is equal to what is the meaning of y what is the meaning of y the distance between central bright to either dark or bright fringes either dark or bright fringes right so that is the meaning of y so y is equal to n lambda d by d so where n is equal to consider remember ma n is equal to here we will consider as a 1, 2, so on, not a uh, from 0. We will consider n is equal to 1, 2, so on. Alright. Okay. So, for first bright, for first bright I want to. So, first bright n is equal to 1. So, lambda, sorry, y first bright is equal to lambda d by d. n is equal to 1. Similarly, for second bright, 2 lambda d by d. Similarly, third bright, so, 3 lambda d by d. So, on like that only. What is that? So, uh, bright fringes distance from central maxima. From central maxima, central bright only. Right? Okay. So, diagrammatical also, we can represent it as this one. So, once you can observe here. So, what is that? This is the central bright. Central bright. Remember here. Central bright is completely bright only. This is the complete bright region. Okay. So bright after alternative dark and bright fringes can form, right? So first one is first dark. Next one is first bright. Next second dark and second bright. Third dark, third bright and fourth dark and fourth alternatively. So, uh, either side of center bright can form either side of central bright. So, similar down also. So, first dark, first bright, second dark, second bright, third bright, third dark, third bright, fourth dark, fourth bright. Right? Okay. So, now here, uh, first bright. So, y 1b is equal to lambda d by d. Similarly, second bright y 2b is equal to 2 lambda d by d similarly third bright third bright 3 lambda d by d so fourth bright so 4 lambda d by d so similarly down also 
so this is the dark and bright fringes so similarly so for dark fringes for dark fringes for dark fringes also so you know path difference for destructive interference for destructive interference what is the formula delta x is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 similarly from a uh, mathematical expression from Young's double split expert path difference what is that delta x is equal to lambda d by d this is equation number 2 this is the equation number 1 ok so now uh, from 1 and 2 what we can write here from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 lambda d by d is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 correct so now i want to y n so y n is equal to so this one also can consider here y n nth bright fringe nth bright fringe so y n is equal to 2 n here last class i think i have given 2 n plus 1 extremely sorry man why because we want to consider 2 n minus 1 2 n minus why because n is equal to here this is our bright fringes will be there here so central bright hole. So now start here only. Na? So that's what here n is equal to start from 1. No? Not a start from 0. Okay. If I take 0, this formula is correct. What is 2n plus 1? Is the lambda by 2 is correct. But start from, this is start from n comma, n is 0 comma, 1 comma, 2 comma, so on. But uh, here our central bright will be there. Therefore, that is n is here, start again here. There, n is not equal to 0. That is, n is equal to 1. So, that's what n can start from 1, 2, 3. For that reason, we want to consider here minus formula is 2n minus 1. So, lambda by 2 will come. Alright? Are you clear? If I take 0 mean here, so uh, 0 minus value, minus value does not be here. Correct or not? So that you can remember previous I have given extremely sorry uh, plus I have given now you can remember my here minus only we will consider what is that 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 okay in definite destructive so plus also will come minus also will come but uh, so young's double split to purpose we want to consider minus and diffraction purpose we want to consider plus Okay, diffraction purpose we want to consider plus and interference purpose we want to consider. So, Young's interference double, double six exponent purpose we want to consider minus one. So, that formula delta x is equal to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2, delta x is equal to lambda d by d. So, equation 1 and 2 lambda d by d is equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2. So, yn is equal to 2n, 2n minus 1 into lambda d by 2d lambda 2 lambda d by 2d all right so now for first dark purpose for first dark n is equal to 1 so y 1d so n is equal to 1 2 into 1 2 2 minus 1 1 so lambda d by 2d similarly for second dark so 2 to the 4 4 minus 1 3 so 3 lambda d by uh, 2d Next, for third dark, for third dark purpose, what is that? So, uh, 2, 3 is a 6, 6 minus 1, 5, 5 lambda d by 2d. So, all like that, all like that. So, like that will come. Alright, if I want, if I want, what is that? Uh, fringe width, fringe width. So, what is the meaning of fringe width? Fringe width is nothing but fringe width is nothing but fringe width so beta we can represent as beta so the distance between two consecutive two consecutive bright or dark bright or dark fringes either bright or dark okay this is the first dark this is the central bright and first dark and first bright and second dark and second bright third dark and third bright and fourth dark and fourth bright the distance between I have given that 
So what is that? This central bright one, right? This one is the central bright. So first to dark. What is first to dark formula? Lambda, sorry, y first to dark is equal to lambda d by 2d. And first to bright. So 1d is equal to lambda d by d. And second to dark, y 2d is equal to 2 lambda d by 2d. Yes or no? Correct. So second argument is 3, right? Sorry. You will come here? 3. Next, second bright, y 2 bright is equal to, uh, so how much will come? So 2 lambda d by d. So next, this one, third dark. So 5 lambda d by 2d. Similar, so on like that will come, right? So here, first dark. So first dark is equal to lambda d by 2d. And first bright lambda d by d. And second dark. So 2d is equal to 3 lambda d by 2d. And second bright y2b is equal to so 2 lambda d by d yes, so on like that only will come so bright fringes so bright fringes mean for example either so first second d to first d or else second bright to first bright the distance between two consecutive two consecutive bright or dark fringes so now i will consider so 2b minus 1b so 2b is equal to how much 2 lambda d by d minus lambda d by so a d correct so lcm is d 2 minus 1 1 so lambda d by d so bright yes or no so similarly previous also high what is the beta is equal to lambda y n plus 1 minus y n correct n plus 1 so this is a high what is that so y is equal to n lambda d by d is the n y n plus 1 mean instead of n what will n plus 1 will come n plus 1 lambda d by d correct so n plus 1 minus n into lambda d by d so we cancel therefore lambda d by d is the bright fringes okay what is the fringe width for bright fringe width for dark fringe width for dark so y n plus 1 y n is equal to 2 n minus 1 lambda d by 2 d okay similarly y n plus 1 and that means instead of n i will put n plus 1 so 2 into n is n plus 1 minus 1 lambda d divided by 2 d so now 2 into n 2 n 2 into 1 2 correct so here what will come there so uh, 2 right 2 and uh, this one what is that uh, right so y n plus 1 2 into n 2 n 2 into 1 2 so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 Correct? So lambda d by 2d. Everything is fine. Now beta. Beta is equal to the difference between two consecutive dark or bright fringes. So yn plus 1 minus yn. yn plus 1 is equal to 2n plus 1 minus 2n plus 1 lambda d by d. Uh, 2d take common. So this yn is equal to minus into plus minus minus into minus or plus. 2n plus 1, so 2n, 2n, it can say minus 2n plus 2n, and 1 plus 1, 2, and 2 and 2 get cancelled, so therefore, uh, fringe width, how much will come? Beta is equal to lambda d by d, lambda d by d, this is the fringe width, right? For dark as well as bright, fringes purpose, we are given this one. So, in examination, for problem point of view, they will ask you some questions. What is that? What is the fringe width of 
फर्स्ट डार्क एंड सेकेंड ब्राइट फर्स्ट डार्क एंड सेकेंड ब्राइट ओके लेटर दे विलास क्वेश्चन सो व्हाट इज दैट फॉर एग्जांपल हियर इज द सेंट्रल ब्राइट सेंट्रल ब्राइट इज द फर्स्ट डार्क एंड द फर्स्ट ब्राइट एंड द सेकेंड डार्क एंड द सेकेंड ब्राइट सो इधर साइड फर्स्ट डार्क एंड फर्स्ट ब्राइट एंड सेकेंड डार्क एंड सेकेंड ब्राइट सो एग्जामिनेशन दे विलास क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द फ्रिंज विथ वट इज द फ्रिंज विथ बिटवी फाइंड द फ्रिंज विथ बिटवीन सेकेंड डार्क एंड एंड फर्स्ट डार्क सेकेंड सेकेंड ब्राइट एंड फर्स्ट डार्क फर्स्ट डार्क ओके फ्रॉम यूर टू डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच ओके सो बीटा इज इक्वल टू बीटा इज इक्वल टू वट इज दट सेकेंड ब्राइट वाई टू बी माइनस वाई वन डे ओके सो सेकेंड बी वट इज सेकेंड बी फॉर्म ला टू लैमडा डी बाई डी माइनस फर्स्ट डे सो फर्स्ट डे लैमडा डी डिवाइडेड बाय टू डी डिवाइड बाय टू डी ओके सो वट इज एलसीएम टू डी सो गिट कैंसिल फोर लैमडा डी माइनस सो लैमडा डी सो दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री लैमडा बाय टू डी सो इस करेक्ट है दैट इज सो नेक्स्ट वन सो वन मोर क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज दैट सो फ्रिंज विर्त फाइंड द फ्रिंज विर्त बिटवीन सेकेंड डार्क एंड फर्स्ट डार्क सेकेंड डार्क एंड फर्स्ट डार्क सो सेकेंड डार्क दिस वन सो फ्रिंज विर्त बीटा इज इक्वल टू टू डी दैट मीन वाइ टू डी माइनस वाइ वन डी so 2d 2d formula what is that 3 lambda d by 2d yes or no 2n minus 1 2 2 uh, uh, 4 4 minus 1 3 minus lambda d by 2d so that is equal to how much will come 3 minus 1 2 2d 2 lambda d divided by 2d so 2 2 get cancel therefore lambda d by d is the bright uh, sorry uh, fringe width that mean second dark and first dark is so what is that second dark and first dark so completely we can call it uh, this one what is that second dark uh, the width of bright fringe the width Of bright fringe. Correct? The difference between dark dark between dark to dark. What should be the bright only? Na? Is the bright? That's what we are calling. We are we are saying. So the width of bright fringe. That is similarly dark also. Uh, that means 